Everybody knows that the wind gets stronger the higher up you go, and at 55 miles per hour, winds can begin to uproot or knock over trees. So how can skyscrapers withstand winds in excess of 100 miles per hour without being toppled over? Well, it starts with a strong core in the center of the building, usually made of concrete. This is supported by steel beams, and the exterior columns will have diagonal steel braces as well. While this core is usually enough to prevent buildings from falling, the wind can still cause them to sway, potentially by several feet. Architects have added several elements to minimize this swaying. Buildings will tape off as they increase in size. The sharpness of its corners are softened to reduce wind resistance, and skyscrapers will have hydraulic dampers installed on the upper floors. These dampers weigh hundreds of tons and will be slid back and forth across the building to act as a counterweight to try and minimize the movement of the structure. In more recent years, architects have started designing buildings that are either tubular or spiral in shape. Not only are these nice aesthetic touches to the skyline, they further reduce the impact of wind on the building.